Welcome to this video on Power BI data flows. Power BI is not only a great tool for data analysis and visualization, but it also supports self-service BI. And Power BI data flows are a key component to enable self-service BI. With data flow, you can place your extract, transform load or short ETL process in the cloud and provide the result to your users. Let's have a look at a small example. I have here two Excel documents and let's say we are using Excel templates to document expenses. So in such a document, there's typical a date, an account, so Contoso Retail, for example, and expenses for hotel, for fuel, for meat, for whatever. And I'm going to place these documents on a local server. So I've had here a shared space and I'm placing all my Excel files per month in this shared folder. I have also an on-premise data gateway installed. This is necessary to access this folder on the server from outside from Power BI. And what I want to do is to combine these documents, these expense documents, together with the customer information stored in Dynamics 365 for sales. So how can we do this? Let's switch back to Power BI. And first I'm going to a new workspace here and I create a new flow. Create a new entity. And in the first place, I'm going to access Dynamics 365 and I'm using the common data service. Provide the URL. And this will give me a list of all available entities. And I only need one entity, that's a count entity here. And the account contains information about my customers. So the address and the name. I'm going to click on transform data. This opens a Power Query editor in the browser. And there are only a few fields I'm interested in. So I'm interested in the account ID. Let's delete the fields before. I'm interested in an address. And the name. That's a little bit back here. So M. N. I'm deleting all columns between and we don't need the rest of these columns. So my ETL process for the account entity is very simple. It only contains account ID, it contains the address and the name. Let's save and close. And these are my accounts from the Namixia 65 sales. Save and refresh. The second entity I'm going to create are my expenses. So back at my workspace here, I'm creating a new data flow, a new entity, and I'm going to access a folder. I'm using my on-premise data gateway. Copy the path. Now Power BI uses my data gateway 
to access this path and it found there are two files, my two Excel files, and I want to combine these. And here's a small preview, so here expands data from the first file and from the second. Looks good. With transform, the so Power Query Editor opens. And I have to do some cleanup here. I'm not interested in the name of the source file. I'm going to remove rows with null. So I don't need this here and I don't want the totals in here. So I'm applying a filter and I'm not interested in totals. I don't need the total row here. I'm going to delete this. I don't need the description. I'm going to delete this. Now I have the date, the customer, and the expenses uh, per type for hotel, transport, fuel, and so on. But I want to change this here and unpivot the selected columns. So this gives me data set with a row per expense. So the date, the customer, what expense it is, for example, here hotel and the value. And I'm pretty happy with this. Let's save and close. Now we have two entities. And let's refresh. So now it is fetching data from the local file and executing the Power Query steps and transformation. Now we want to combine these two entities. So back at my workspace, the data flow. Now I'm going to link entities from data flows. And I want to link the accounts and the expenses and combine these two in one big fact table. And with transform data, the Power Query editor opens. And I'm going to merge queries in a new result. And I'm starting with the expenses and merging with the account based on the name. And in this example, I'm only interested in the address. So, uh, because I don't have here a premium subscription, I have to disable the load on the two entities as a base for my new entity. And I don't call this merge, but I call this fact or fact table expenses. And this is date type. So I change this to date. And this here is currency. Save and close. And I call this fact expenses. This is my fact table for expenses. With expenses, expenses combined with customer 
paste data and I'm going to refresh the data so it's now executing, loading the data and combining. Excellent. So back here, so it's still refreshing. This may take a few seconds, depending on the entity and the data source. And now I'm going to promote this for my users so they are able to see this and be convinced that's a good data set. I'm going to settings, endorsement, and certified. Now you can see this data flow got the label certified. And here we see which entities do we have here from the common data service accounts, from the expense documents via the gateway, the expenses and our fact expenses. Now I'm done with my ETL and I'm going to simulate the power user now. So typically as power user, I would start up a Power BI desktop. Go fetch data from Power BI data flows. Check the workspaces where I'm allowed to access. And from demo data flow, I see here there's one that is certified and promoted, and it contains a fact table with expenses and customer. And I'm simply going to load this data. I don't have to care about the data source, about the data transformation, about pivot and unpivot and so on. This is all done by the data expert. And I simply can use now this data set here. Let's say I'm interested in the expenses by account. And within a minute, I can see most expenses were used for Contoso and then for InsiderX and for Test Company 1 to 3. So, to summarize, the Power BI data flow can be used to implement ETL process and provides a result from this ETL process directly to Power users so that they have done to care about all the technical aspects and can simply use the dataset.